I'm going to show you how to create your own digital planner on Canva completely for free. So I'm not going to use any paid features. This is an account that doesn't have a pro account. So don't worry, this is completely free and this is what you can do. So first of all, we need to choose the right size for your uh, tablet. And usually it's the GoodNote standard landscape size or this is, I think, vertical, whichever it is. I sometimes like to just use A4, but this is kind of a trial and error thing that you will need to try with your own iPad. Now, if you don't want vertical, you can create a horizontal planner. So all we need to do is to change the size. And here we can just type in the sizes that we want. So let's say I want landscape, then I would just type this size on, and then I would type in this size on and just copy and paste. Uh, something's wrong, I think they need a comma, no? Okay, no, no, what's your, what's your problem, Camilla? It's never done that before, of course. Okay, so I can't add these, but what I can do is I can round the numbers. So let me just quickly check. Okay, it's 407. So if you want um, a horizontal planner, that's what you would do. And then if you want it vertical, again, you can just create it and instead of just change the numbers, places, and that's literally all you have to do. So these are the right sizes for you and these work usually on most tablets. Again, you need to test it out and see if it works for you. Anyways, let's get started into the, let's start doing the fun stuff stuff so the easiest would be to just type in daily planner for example and we immediately have some choices that are completely free so let's say i'm gonna choose this one this is gonna be my planner and this is gonna set the style for me again i can change all the colors if i don't like these i can just make them pink or brown or whatever so really nice really easy and we definitely want a cover photo so again i'm gonna just put it there even though the cover photo usually doesn't matter but let's have a cover just for fun and i'm just gonna follow this you can choose other ones some of them are paid as you can see but there's some that are free also you can just copy the style and you know just kind of go for it okay so we have the cover we can just write my planner here and that's my cover and that's all it's gonna have i can make it bigger smaller whatever and you're probably wondering can i add links to this planner so of course you can and that's what we're gonna do so you can do it uh two ways one way is if you want to have some buttons so i can have a button here and i can add it to the back and i can just have it here and this is probably the reason why you want to create it on canva and not good notes so that you could have these buttons so we're gonna add these buttons and i'm just gonna drag and have a bunch of them and don't worry about it too much because now that i have them i can just select all of them besides this thing and i can just choose the position also this is going to be in your language so um, don't try to learn spanish that's fine so we have the buttons here and that's it now i usually create another page and just see okay maybe i like these buttons in a different color so i very quickly can see that and i'm gonna create one more and see maybe this one i want you know uh, them to be gradient so basically how it's gonna work is i'm gonna choose um, them like this and then i'm just gonna move a little bit see what works maybe it's a little here again just leave it at, um this is the fun part and then I choose the last color, go further, and we choose the last one. And again, we can go either darker, brighter, um, or, or lighter, whichever feels like. So here we have it, we have the buttons. Mm, and once we decide on the style, then I delete the, the ones I created before, because we don't need them anymore. So we have the planner, we have my buttons here. We can also title them. So basically, I'm just going to copy this text. So copy and paste. And then I say, for example, number one, 
whichever it is, whichever you want to title, maybe you want to have specific names, maybe you don't, maybe you don't even need names, that's fine. But it can be number one or it can be days. So again, if I want to have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I can have it in here. Um, so it's completely up to you. I'm not going to add any names because it's my planner, so I just choose whatever I want with it. Mm, but if you want, you can do that. Now, I don't know what I've connected to my... Let me just turn this off. Okay, um, next up, we need to know how to create those hyperlinks. So it's actually really, really easy. All I need to do is to click on an object and then click this. And then I just choose where it's going to go. So now I don't have anything. So what I need to do is I need to create multiple pages. So I have five, so I need four more pages. So now, as you can see, let me move myself. Um, now, as you can see, we have all those pages ready for us. So, in if that's the case, I, I am ready and I can just link everything. So, let me go to the first one, click on here. I have to move myself again. <laughs> okay, click here and then I just choose the page number that it is. So, the first one is going to be one, two, three, four, five. The first one is going to be the second one. So basically the same page, then this one is going to be the third one, this one is going to be the fourth one, this one's going to be the fifth one, and as you can see it's super easy, and then this one is going to be my sixth one. So I have all my pages linked and ready. Now you're going to say, okay, but what about the other pages? So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of this, I'm holding the shift key to, to do that, and then I'm just going to copy and paste, so I'm going to delete these, unfortunately, they have to go. And I'm just going to select the page itself and I'm going to paste it and it pastes it at the right place. The only thing is that I forgot this one, but no worries, I'm going to copy and paste it as well. Again, don't forget to select the page because if you don't, it's just going to paste it weird. And here we have them. So now I'm going to choose all of them and I'm going to move forward, delete all of these and paste them and again, complete the process and paste them, and again, last one, I do the same, and paste them. So now it's all ready. Now, all I need to do, so you can, we can move forward, we can, I can show you the stickers, and that's what I'm going to show you after this, but for those of you who don't want to see how to make cool stickers, this is what you are going to do. So first you have a title, of course, then you click this Mm, and you're gonna have this in English or your own language, but in case, just this icon. And then we choose uh, PDF standard. So if um, it just looks like this, PDF standard, just in English or your own language. But it's important that you choose this instead of the print version. So you need the standard option because then it's clickable. If it's the print version, you won't be able to click the buttons and that's of course a problem. So we choose this um, and we download. Now I realize that you will not see the difference. So we could also, what we could do, um, we can make that big, the button that we're on bigger. So let's say here, I can make it bigger as well. If you want to, you know, kind of see the difference, that's kind of like a another touch to the planner if that's what you like. And let me just download again. So I'm gonna click download. This all good and PDF and download. Now we're just gonna wait for it to download. And now it's all ready. I can immediately upload it to my GoodNotes file. Well, immediately it's when it loads, but quick enough. Okay, um, okay, and then I click this. I import, and I import my last one. Open, and of course it's on my computer. But if you have um, cloud, then it's going to be synced, so even easier. So here we have the planner, and this is how it looks like. And if I want, I can click on the, so I have to click this icon here. And now I can just click on the buttons and use them like that. 
Okay, so now for those who want to add some cool stickers, this is the part for you. So we're gonna go back and here we have the elements. And then I really like dried flowers. So what I can do is I can add some dried flowers. I'm gonna add a new page and this one is gonna be white. And I'm just gonna add all the stickers that I want. So I'm just gonna use everything that Canva suggests and I just add them randomly. Um, okay, maybe, let me just write dried flower. Mm, here, we have that, so I like all of them, I'm gonna add them, this, and maybe you like something else, maybe you like minimal art, and then, or maybe line art, and then I'm just gonna add those as well, so if I want something else, I can add it really easily, maybe this girl. What else can I do? I can also add some washi tape. So many, many options for you immediately to use on your stickers. With selling, this is a little bit more tricky if you want to sell your planner. I would be careful with these and ideally you want to create your own stickers. But for personal use and to posting on Instagram, that's completely fine. So we have some a collection and then I'm going to title it stickers, uh, download and we choose PNG um, and we choose the last page. Uh -huh. Did I want to choose it right? No. Okay. Last page. And then I download. And then background remover. We need this. So once it's downloaded, I can upload that image here. And as you can see, all my background is removed because on Canva, the free version, you can't remove the background and you can't save it without the background, but this is the trick. So I'm gonna download and then I can go back to my uh, good notes and upload the image. Okay. Come on. And I'm gonna insert it from my computer. So this is the one that doesn't have the background. And here we have our stickers ready. Now, of course, we will want to cut them. So I'm just gonna click on them, crop. And then I can either freehand, so I can do like this, or I can rectangle, so whichever is more comfy for you. In this case, I think this is more comfortable, so I'm gonna click done. And we have the the image already as you can see if I zoom it like that it's not gonna look good but it has to be a certain size to look good now if you want it to be bigger what you need to do is while you're on Canva is just use one page for one image so let's say I okay I'm gonna just choose the same one and I just need to expand it and make it big so that once it is downloaded it doesn't get Rent and it's just the process is the same. I just choose number eight and download, and then I upload it to the remove, and and that's basically it. So let me just drop it. And also, you can download HD. I think. Oh no, you have to. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can't. But anyways, it's not good to have your stickers in full size. So this kind of works out for us anyways. And now I'm gonna go to GoodNotes and I'm gonna add that last image. Click insert from, and I don't remember which one it is. This one. So now as you can see, even if it's bigger, it's still nice, nicely crisp. So that's, again, that's the size. So you have to, you know, find the size and Kind of we can add it but if it's small then it's not really doesn't change okay so i hope that this is helpful if you have any questions just let me know and thank you so much for watching